Hello again, in the continuation of the series of videos related to using TerraWorld to create a high-detail environment for use in a military simulator. And considering the fact that we are gradually approaching the end of this series of videos, in the eighth part, I intend to correct the data received from the land cover of the region to bring my scene as close as possible to the real environment. As you saw in the first part of this series of videos, we have selected a specific area for the simulator environment, now I want to improve the way the trees in the area are covered with the data obtained from the satellite image. We will also learn how to add building models using object scatter. To get started, go to the colors tab and darken the color of the filter we already have in our graph. This color filter was used to extract data on how trees in the area were covered. Then, I increased its tolerance by 10% to make it more effective. Next, we go to the Biomes tab to review how to connect the Biomes filter related to trees cover. In other words, here we combine the three biomes filter, wood, trees and orchard, and with a mixer, combine their data with the color filter that we modified. The only change we need to make is to remove the area mixer 224, because with the minor changes we made, there will be no need to use this mixer anymore. By removing this mixer, two scatter nodes related to tree cover will need to be modified in the input section. We complete our process by assigning them to the area mixer 23, which is responsible for combining biome filters to cover trees with color filter. We will update the applied changes by pressing the generate button. Note that, be sure to save all the changes in graph and save it on your computer as well. As you can see, the changes have been made in a tangible way. Here, I am going to show you how to use the object scatter feature in TerraWorld by adding a free building asset. For this purpose, I consider Desert Buildings modular asset suitable. So, after downloading and importing it in the project, I will continue to work.
As you saw in the previous video, I will replace the prefab shader that I want to use in my project with the Terra Unity standard shader to take advantage of its features in the scene. This process should be applied to all prefabs that are to be placed on the scene. Now to avoid interfering with the layout of building models with natural cover, such as trees and rocks, I have to create a new layer in the project, which I call buildings layer, to attribute these prefabs to that layer. This allows you to easily filter the layers from each other. To show how it works, I go to the Biomes tab and deactivate the Buildings layer from the Layer Settings Layer Mask section by selecting Scatter Nodes that are responsible for arranging trees and rocks in the scene. This prevents layers of trees or rocks from being placed on the building models and somehow filters them. We will continue our work by referring to the Add Scatter section and selecting the object Scatter. In this node you will be able to add multiple models side by side, so I will add my favorite prefabs to this layer randomly. After determining the placement distance variable and activating the horizontal rotation, it is time to set the scale range parameter. 
Note that in order to get closer to reality, the model size of buildings, unlike trees or rocks, should not vary much, so we set it to a minimum. Because the goal is to arrange the buildings at angles with a gentle slope, I set the slope range option between 0 and 15 degrees. I also set the height range to 2000 meters. By setting the position offset option, we minimize the risk of protruding around the model on the terrain surface. The most important point in this section is to change the Unity layer from default to Buildings layer. Otherwise the mask filter we attributed to this layer will not work. Finally, in the input section, we attribute this node to the area mixer, which subtracts angles between 0 and 15 degrees from the lake surface. Click the Generate button to continue. Then I remove the extra prefabs in the scene. A new layer was added to the graph to adjust the scale. I use a game object that has human dimensions, which I used in previous videos before. Now to access the new layer created, just go to the TerraWorld subdirectory in the hierarchy section, the list of components of this layer is visible. Unlike layers that are created in the scene with a GPU instance scatter node and can be changed and viewed in real time from the inspector section, this is not possible for object scatters. Therefore, to apply the changes, you must go back to their node in the biomes tab section and set the favorable parameters. To complete this part of the work, first I increase their placement distance, then as mentioned before, the rotation range of the building layers is limited unlike tree or rock, so to make the scene more realistic, we also limit this parameter to 5 degree. Next, increase the scale of the models, and soften the slope range arrangement again. Click the Generate button to update the graph. Please remember to save all the changes in graph and save it on your computer as well. As you can see, tree cover has not been applied to building models. Note that, you can easily access, modify, or even delete individual components of the new layer. Only make these changes if you do not update your graph anymore or do not click the generate button, otherwise all changes will return to their previous state. I hope you enjoyed this video, look forward to our next videos.